Hi, Mark St. Regis with Studio Electronics here at NAMM 2017. Good to be back. I'm here with my good friends from Analog Zone. Behind the camera, guys, but he's, he's good people. And, uh, and we're here to show uh, six new modules. I guess the star of the show is our Tone Star uh, 8106. And it is a, uh, I would say it's an alchemical offering of the Jupiter through Juno uh, filters, ported into our Tone Star format, which started out with the ARP uh, 2600. So the format is still pre patched like the ARP with the ADSR and the AR, and uh, I would say more than semi modular. You can, you can jack in quite a bit. And it's out outs compatible, which is something I guess we do and no one else does, which means you can have outputs cross and uh, uh, you can get uh, FM-like effects and, and so grungy uh, bandpass frequency sneaking in on a low-pass filter. And, and you can make the envelope, uh, rather the uh, modulation shapes much more interesting with other waveforms, the outs of waveforms going into the outs of other waveforms and envelope outs going into... You get the picture. So I'm going to play a little something from the Tone Star uh, Folk Tech. It was designed this, uh, what we call our Resonance Series. This was designed by Arius Blaze of Folk Tech. And uh, it, to me, it looks like a Fibonacci uh, Madonna and Child, which does appeal to my uh, Italian background on a, on a very, mo very modern level. And uh, so this is, this is rocking the 5089 filter, which is the Moog filter. Uh, the, tone, the Folk Tech Tone Stars uh, feature a plug in filter, which can be the 5089, the, uh, the Moog, the uh, 3003, Roland, and the uh, 2600 ARP. So this one's going to be the uh, Moog filter, and we'll, we'll play a little something. And we'll bring in the quad nick, which is coming into the, uh, uh, our uh, 1U toolbar, which is marvelous too, attenuation, routes, high cut, uh, invert out, uh, uh, elo, uh, frequency modulation, uh, an LFO that goes into frequency modulation rates, very low, very high, with the switch here. Again, it's out outs compatible, and then a stereo delay. So you can turn your, your Tone Star mono synth into this beautiful stereo uh, field and you can come at the uh, amount with CV and, and uh, so it can be uh, all sorts of things for you. Let's, let's listen to a little bit of that. I'm going to fade in the quadnik. I better plug it in first. That's dry. This is with the effect. Let's bring in the Juno. We've got some more um, Tone Star action up here, as well as our Slimo, which brings you the power of the oscillation module, discrete class A, um, into a much more compact package, 8 HP on the new one, uh, the same features, but you patch out your waveforms, which I've loomed up here, 
uh, pulse width modulation, frequency modulation, uh, fine tune, octave. You can sync it as well. It's also going through the, will be going through, it's going through now, but we can't hear it. It's, it's going through the 8106 filter, which is the breakout from the Tone Star here, which offers the uh, resonance CV, which we took out for this thing, which I didn't let you, uh, in exchange for the high pass, which I didn't let you hear. So you can get that really nice boxy, or, or super brittle. So let's hear a little bit of that. First we'll listen to the Tone Star 2600 that started the party. Bring in the uh, Slimo going through the 8106. Here's just the Slimo. drive it hard. A resonance, a negative uh, CV. There we go. See that high pass. Let's hear some raw waveforms. That's the saw. This is the 12 dB out. 24, 12. I think you get the idea. We're also looking at the Charcot, which is spinning the Charcot circles, which is now interfaced with the breakout box. And so the, um, the 8x16 sequencer, which we were using as a, a giant preset, eight individual 16-step sequences, now can spit out eight CVs and eight gates. Pretty exciting. Um, have we covered all of it? I think we have. Of course, we brought our, uh, the, uh, the Boomstar um, SE80. playing in there, a little funk, you know. Thank you for listening, and uh, this has been your Studio Electronics Nam experience for 2017.